And so for you to manifest, you have to build up, build up in prayer. Because there is a place you pray to where there are coals of fire. That's where your tongue will be touched. And if your tongue is taught, it will be poured. When you come back, you can become a prophet. I can't talk prayer. Let's pray prayer. Let's pray. Stand up, let's pray now. Pray intelligently in the next 10 minutes. Listen, I began by telling you that the compass of your life are released into your spirit as bodies. As you follow those bodies, you enter into the mountain of encounters and the instructions of your destiny are given to you. So if you are here now and you don't yet know what God wants you to do, it's because you have failed to attend to bodies. And I said, just in case, you have managed bodies well and you have received encounters and instructions for your destiny is still not enough. There is a culture for its preservation. One of it is the culture of fellowship. And when you see men who truly fellowship is because the nature of God has been born in their spirit. I said the next culture is the culture of breaking bread. Men who have seen their reality in heaven is because they can travel through the gate of revelation. The word of God has been made known to them. And I said, the culture of prayer. Prayer is what opens up seasons over your life. And prayer is what keeps you standing. So at any point where you are, you may be at a point where you have not discerned the body of your life. That means as we pray, your prayer should be what? About the bodies of your destiny. Maybe you have bodies, but you have not tended bodies enough to come to a point of encounter. As we pray, your goal should be God. Give me the encounter that will change my life. Maybe your own case may just be that you've had encounters, but you don't seem to know why you can't fellowship. Meanwhile, your security is in fellowship, but the nature of God is still lacking. You always think everything is about yourself, and the moment is not about yours, about you, you disconnect. You pray for God to bet in you the nature of the Christ. And maybe your own is the inability to pray. You pray that the Lord will rest upon you the grace for prayer. That's why I littered all of these things. So you can find yourself on this on this track. And wherever it is you are, that should become your focus. As we pray in the next 10 minutes. You want to speak in tongues? This is the time. Listen, listen. I told you the first thing God will be doing tonight is to usher men into realms of encounters without encounters without spiritual interaction no matter how you act you are a religious man you can deceive yourself with bible knowledge you can deceive yourself with titles in church without encounters and spiritual interactions you are a religious man we are going to pray now. And as we pray now, the dew of heaven will begin to rest on people. Most of you, the hand of God will come upon you and throw you from your seat where you are sitting. The reason it will happen like this is so that you will know that you can create the same atmosphere in your bedroom. As we pray, the hand of God will begin to rest on people. Some of you will feel literal flames of fire. Literal flames of fire. The heavens will break upon you. So let us not abash. Paretes to protest usa. Let us not samandre paras. Daya, daya, hepta, hepta, baba, so for who not satiated? Wabo, wabo. Blow upon us like a rushing mountain wind. Fly! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Jesus
of Jesus. Listen. Listen. There's a strange thing happening here now. The heavens over some people are opening. Listen. There are men that have been struggling to break through in prayer. There's a new order. There's a new alignment pattern that is being created around your soul. There's a new oppression around your mind now that is causing the climate over your head to shift. Men are about to enter into new ranking in the spirit. A new order of spiritual possibility. Just lift your hands to heaven. Ordination of intercessors. Precious Holy Spirit. From the left to the right. Lord, from the front to the back. A new intercessors. You are coronating for territorial legislation. Right now, I stretch my hands, Lord. I say, let that ceremony begin. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Let the heavens open over them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. some of you now to begin to have tangible spiritual experiences it's not an emotional thing right now holy spirit let that atmosphere of heaven begin to flow here lord from the left to the right from the front to the back blow upon them 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 blow upon them, blow upon them. Blow upon them. The wave is coming stronger. 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 It is touching iniquity. It's touching religion. The wave is coming stronger. Don't be quiet before the Lord. Be quiet before the Lord. Allow that wind to blow over your soul. You may not be excited about it, but something tangible is about to happen to you. It will change your life forever. Some of you, your eyes will open now. You will see in the spirit. Some of you will receive clear-cut instructions. You can never doubt it, even if there is a knife on your throat. Father, Begin to give them those encounters now. Begin to give them those encounters. Begin to give them those encounters. 
begin to give them those encounters. Begin to give them those encounters. Become real, Lord. Become real, Lord. Become real, Lord. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The hand of God is beginning to come on people. Stay connected. Stay sensitive. Stay sensitive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. It's a spiritual ceremony. I'm not going to be breaking the atmosphere anymore. But as we begin to worship, most of you will be healed on your own, on the strength of the energy of the atmosphere. Most of you will literally be carried to the place of your destiny from this service. Most of you will begin to walk in strange dimensions that you never imagined before now. Because there's a simulation going on right now, even as I speak. Even as I speak. Even as I speak. fresh baptism of fire a fresh baptism of fire a fresh baptism of fire a fresh baptism of fire you are not just intercessors you are territorial agents a fresh baptism of fire I call forth your ordination I call forth your ordination I call forth your ordination I call forth. I call it forth. The waters of the spirit flow. The waters of your spirit flow. We are the intercessors rise. We are the prophets. I call it forth. I call it forth. I judge the powers of iniquity. I judge the ordinations of darkness that has shut down the move of God in your soul. I call it forth. Hey! 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 Something is about to begin to happen here. There's a word of glory. It's about to descend here now. People's feet will literally be set on fire. People's hands will be set on fire. There's an enclopement that is coming. First comments. Men that their bones will be coated with fire. Revivalists that will alter the stability of darkness over the face of men.
It's not the time to speak in tongues. Keep quiet and close your eyes. The Lord is bringing fresh ordinations on people. Just stay focused. This is not a time to be religious. You will lose a lot of things. Meetings must not go the way you think they should go. It's a time to look up to heaven. There's a dew coming from Zion. There's a fresh dew. There's a fresh dew. There are many things I'm seeing now. But just focus on Jesus. Allow the Holy Ghost to take charge.
to fly Lion roar Eagle fly It's in you You were made to fly Lion roar Eagle fly It's in you You were made to fly For you to manifest, you have to build up, build up in prayer because there is a place you pray to where there are coals of fire. That's where your tongue will be touched. And if your tongue is touched, it will be purged. When you come back, you can become a prophet. 